So I just got in from a walk. Uh, my day changed a little bit. I was supposed to finish a painting job today, uh, but I definitely woke up with a bit of a cold this morning. So I didn't go because the client has cancer. So my boyfriend went instead. Uh, so I unintentionally have a day off today. So I just came in from a walk and it's like a little cold outside, like zero degrees. But today and yesterday we actually had sunlight because we've gone like two weeks straight without sunlight. So I've been going insane. I definitely do not do well uh, when sunlight is lacking because in the prairies we just get constant sunlight every day. Um, yeah, at least on the plus side, I got a gig confirmed for tomorrow and Saturday that I was waiting on. So I have that to look forward to at least. It's um, it's with a youth orchestra and they needed a contrabassoon player because what youth orchestra would actually have a kid that plays contrabassoon? I'm a professional and I don't even own my own contrabassoon. Um, yeah, so my plan for the rest of the day, I might try and make pierogies for, I need to make some for Christmas. And I'm going to make a coffee right now and sit down and try and read for at least 30 minutes. And I'm gonna read Words of Radiance, of course. So I'm going to do that. And then I might update afterwards if anything, interest, if anything interesting ends up happening in what I happen to read, which I'm sure something will happen. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, I'm back. That took uh, longer to read for 30 minutes than I had anticipated because uh, I was figuring out the logistics of renting a contrabassoon for tomorrow. Um, but I got 30 minutes in and I also realized I didn't show yet. Yesterday, I ended up going shopping in the afternoon because my grandma, since we live so far apart, she just sends me money every year to buy presents. Like, she makes me buy presents and have to wrap them up and put them under the tree from her. Uh, so, I may have bought some books yesterday for myself. So, they will be wrapped up, but I couldn't help myself today. I ended up getting all of the... Uh, Stormlight archived books in pocketbook form. I don't know what it is about uh, like chunky paperback pocketbooks like this but I absolutely love them and I even noticed today just reading now I read out of the words of radiance like I read faster and it, uh, it was just easier for me to get like absorbed into the book than when I'm I don't know the bigger books I don't know what it is I just I find it easier to read out of these and it it's also more convenient for when I'm traveling, taking the metro, being in the car, what have you, because it is a lot easier to travel with this than this. <laughs> so I read about uh, I read about 20 pages. So I basically I read a chapter on Kaladin. Um, he was talking to Syl. Uh, she's becoming more aware. Um, of how she is, uh, like she's becoming more intelligent, I guess. Uh, and they were also training in the chasms and talking about how the the newest soldiers uh, training in the chasms was almost like an initiation, and they're starting to open up more. And then there was a very short chapter on Shallan. Uh, from six years ago and we kind of got a bit more backstory on her and I know in the past it was revealed that uh, I think she had like a cause in her father's uh, death and this chapter hinted at her killing like a bunch of people including her mother so there is a lot to unpack with Shallan I think she has a lot more powers than we have realized and that um, sorry, I'm just like more logistics. Uh, but anyways, more crazy stuff with Shallan. Uh, a lot is going on with her. And then the next chapter was back in present time, and she had washed up on shore thanks to a uh, Santeed. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. 
and she ended up finding uh, a group of slavers and that's where I, I left off so I'm excited to see where Shaolin goes I'm assuming she's going to go to the Shattered Plains and I remember I think in my first video I had made a prediction that Kaladin and Shallon are going to meet at some point and I yeah I think that's going to happen in this book because she's heading towards the Shattered Plains so it would make sense um, but other than that that's pretty much all I did for today I might end up reading a bit more now like in the evening uh, and I I know it's a Christmas present but I might just continue with this just because I don't know just the the feeling of reading with a book like this is so much more comfortable for me and it actually makes me want to read because I remember um, one of the first chunky pocket books that I got of this was Pillars of the Earth and I remember just like zipping through that um, but for the rest of the day the rest of today I have to make pierogies and now I need to practice for tomorrow because I actually am doing that gig now and potentially we'll be picking up the Contra at some point tonight because I'm renting it from someone who owns a Contra because again I don't own one because they're very expensive and cumbersome and it's like the amount of gigs you get isn't really worth buying a Contra because they're like forty thousand dollars and having a Contra isn't going to give you that much extra work if you were just a bassoonist so I'm going to rent it. It's $25, days a, $25 a day to rent the instrument, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, oh, and the piece I'm playing is, it's Vaughn Williams. It's his second symphony. It's called the London Symphony. It's a really cool piece, and I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for new music, and or if you want to get into classical music. It's really good. But I think I've rambled on enough. Uh, thanks for being here.